Okay, yeah, go to charms class. Where's this gargoyle? <laughs> he around here somewhere. I'm gonna find him. Is it you? No, it's not you. Revelio. Okay. I was just checking. <laughs> Every time. Every time we can, we will. Is that an apple? That is an apple. It's just playing the violins during the middle of the day. Why? There's a cat. Can I pet the cat? Can I pet you? Yeah. Whose cat is this? It's my cat now. <laughs> he loves us. We've imprinted it upon him. We've soul bonded. We gotta keep going up. It's all the way upstairs. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Oh, he's a rambler? Oh, okay. Oh, it's a little better. It's a little better. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. Hey, Nettie. So you are the new student. Hey. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with the passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. You wish right? every person now, has everyone, at least a te one teacher like that. To page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months Dang. must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing oblivion on one another. <laughs> uh, that was a good one. Do Come on, give him even that. Even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm. No. Nope. Mm, well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns <laughs> summoning them out of one another's hands. Blunt Only objects. one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Don't be making me do stuff. Whee! We'll get better at this. Akio. That is not bad. Is there a, a non rude way to do that? Swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Fair. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion yes. outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. He gives outside teacher energy. <laughs> oh. 
undiscovered food flames. Oh, we saw one, but I didn't think I had to interact with it. I'll remember that. Ah. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> so Just whipped up freaking backyard game. Hmm? Simply cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. That's it. Stay focused. There's a delay. Okay. Very good. Don't lose your composure. Don't don't do me. Excellent control there. <laughs> you gotta stop it. Oh, come on. Don't you dare. <laughs> it's about to fall Very off. Good. Points to Slytherin. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Wait. Come on up. Let me do it again. Give me a redo. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Okay. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Let us do this. Can we go one at a time? You better not get all fit. That is how it's done. You're not gonna walk off like that on me. Yeah, I walk away too. That's it. What's this? Can I knock her balls out the way? <laughs> Come on, good. Quite impressive. Misha. If she knocks this off, I'm gonna be okay. I was about to say, you better not. <laughs> okay. A perfect score. Yeah. Remarkable. They were all like in a line almost. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? What did you do? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. What is Enough this? Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This, this nonsense. Route settles it all. Here we go. Oh. This is not fair. Let's just say that. That is how it's done. Akio. Not to worry. Let us see this. <sighs> I'm not gonna win. No way, now. Watch this. Mess up. <laughs> yes. Akio. Brilliant. 
Wait, could I could I have knocked hers out the way? My shame just laying on the ground. Both of you. Well done. That was fun though. I wish you could play that with your friends. That'd be fun. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. <laughs> I, my posture's horrible. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. You could have Took though. me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. See, it would, easier, would it I be promise. different if, if I won? That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, divination? we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. What? But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember okay. the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. Do we get to see this place? This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I yeah. must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It is. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank right. you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah. I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. He was standing there you with his pants in his, uh, his hand in his pants. If you're so in his pants you pockets. wanted to speak with me, Professor. I did. I trust your that first Iron challenge Maiden. lesson lived up to expectation. Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, <sighs> Professor. The dialogue it was definitely a match. would be different Miss if I won. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Yes. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Okay, so not special treatment, more like special or extra work, I should say. We have to meet the professor, right? Oh, 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 oh. Wait a minute. Where is it? Where's the flu? <sighs> Is this the flu? Where am I? You can make me double back. Where is it? Is it under me? Why can't I? Why? It's gonna make me do come all the way back here. We're not doing that. <laughs> it 
It's in here somewhere. Where's the where's the flu? Are you the flu? It doesn't unlock automatically, does it? I'm missing something. Okay. Questions for later. Everybody else left. Let me get out of here. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Yes. I am. Oh, well, let's change that. Professor... Or, wait. Assistant headmaster... Headmistress. Uh, Weasley wanted to talk to us. Professor Weasley. I wanted to get the title right. I think we gotta go down the stairs. I haven't seen if there's a flu over here. No. There is not. Not one we have unlocked, at least. There is definitely one over there. We'll see what she wants to say. And then we'll probably end it there. I think that'll be a good stopping point. That'll let us know what we got to do next. And then for the next stream, I'll tweak some settings to see if I can get a smoother frame rate. There's one over here. Wait, no, it's on the other side of this wall. Okay. So I just did not walk past the one. It, it must be under his classroom, I guess. <gasps> Are there cats just around for me to pet? There are cats just around for me to pet. You get something for petting all the cats. 100% certain. <laughs> Weasley after class. What about the room, Professor? Deke? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. <sighs> Why well, he ain't oh, got better clothing? Uh, excuse, Deke. <laughs> ah, there you are. I want better for Deke. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. Stop crying. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Nothing more, Professor. I see. Okay. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Whatever Regardless, that means, you you're not getting me to, to talk. Upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Professor Ronan did mention something about <laughs> that. More In work. fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier. Right. We've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here. Including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Right. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. Well, okay. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallo or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Right. Hmm. How about Natty? I'd like to go with Natty. 
Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? Yeah, Rookwood. A rather Rookwood. unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow. Theophilus. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. This butterbeer? I'm kind of intrigued now. Oh, okay, okay. I feel like something's gonna happen when we get to Reparo. Something's gonna happen when we get to Hogsmeade. Almost 100% certain. So I think here will be a good time to stop. That way when we pick it up, we'll have more time to go into what's gonna happen next. So 2% quest. Oh, okay, okay. That's just I want the cape. All I saw was the cape. Okay. So you get little okay, I'm okay with this. Yeah, I want see so yeah, I want this. Give me that scarf. And that outfit actually. Give me that scarf. Okay, we when we come back, we'll we'll know how to change our clothes too. What else? Is there's something in here? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Give me strangler gloves. That's what that looks like. I don't want the glasses. I don't want that hat. Outfit. Oh, okay. Keep the robe. Can I take the robe off? Where's the black one? Not the underwear like that. I just, where's my, do I have to go pick it up? I probably have to go pick it up. I feel like we have to pick it up and that's okay. I'm guessing that's like mail. That's my inventory. How do I? We'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll figure it out another time. Okay, we have to speak to Professor Rona. Yes. <laughs> the face, we look upset in a good way. Okay, so we need to know repair our ancient magic arrow. See, see, I knew something big was going to happen there. So I'm glad <laughs> I'm going to wait till I have more time. And we'll figure out how to get, get the clothes. Where's our clothes? We'll figure it out. But yes, that was fun. I'm enjoying it. I will change settings on my end. I'm almost certain it's some settings for my PC to help stabilize the frame rate and cutscenes. Uh, I want to thank you for watching. No matter where you are, stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe. 
have a good evening, good day, and good night. Until next time, this is Lumillion signing out.